In addition to static structural analysis, modal analysis can also be studied in on-scale solve. Modal analysis determines the various frequencies at which a structure will resonate. Engineers must consider all material and structural design choices to prevent a part from vibrating at its natural frequency. Once a part reaches its natural frequency, the part is at a great risk of failure. In this lesson, we will consider the case of a wind turbine blade. Wind turbine blades are massive. Each blade spans over 100 feet and weighs over 5,200 pounds. The cost of each turbine blade is approximately $150,000, so it is vital to get structurally sound designs from the start. The vibration of a wind turbine blade as wind flows over it is one of the key factors that designers and engineers are concerned with. Therefore, performing a modal analysis on a wind turbine blade design is usually the first step to test and validate the design. Let's take a look at this in OnScale Solve. In OnScale Solve, from the Projects tab of the dashboard, create a new project. Enter a name for your project and click Create. Click the Import CAD button. Go to the Upload tab and browse for the blade file. Select the bonded contact setting and click Upload. First, we need to assign a material to our wind turbine blade. Wind turbine blades are typically made of a composite material made of carbon fiber, glass, and liquid resin. In this exercise, we are going to simplify the model and use a standard carbon fiber material. Using the tree or the 3D viewer, select the blade. The composite we are looking for is not one of the on-scale materials. However, in the materials menu, it is possible to create custom materials. With the blade selected, select the Create Custom Material button. Here you can add all of the physical and thermal properties of the composite. Click Done, and the custom material properties will be applied to the model. Now it is time to add a fixture. Select the Physics tab. In the toolbar, ensure that the Mechanical Environment Physics tab is on. Click the Mechanical Environment in the tree and in the menu that appears on the right side of the screen, edit the mechanical environment and change the mechanical analysis type to modal. In the dropdown, select Restraint, and then select the end surface of the blade. In this case, we are assuming that the end of the blade is grounded and is at rest. In the Simulator tab, click the Launcher button. Once the simulation is finished, Select Open Results to open the results in the Results tab. The Results tab opens, displaying the first mode shape with its frequency and period. At the top of the model space, you have the option of animating the mode shape. The other mode shapes are listed on the left toolbar. If we go to the second and third modes, you can see the modal frequency, period, and animated mode shape update for each. Returning to the first mode, we see that the natural frequency of the turbine blade is 6.67 Hz. The fundamental frequency of carbon fiber can vary drastically based on the composite makeup, but on average it is above 100 Hz. 6.6 Hz is well below 100 Hz. Therefore, this blade design is at very low risk of reaching resonant frequency. Remember, our blade design is a simplified model of a solid carbon fiber material. True wind turbine blades have many more materials and components, so the simulation would require many more boundary conditions. And of course, this study can also be done in OnScale Solve. In the next lesson, we will take a look at thermal analysis in OnScale Solve.